out here at 1525 Johnson Street here in Gary, Indiana, where our pastor is on the division of the Amen. And our first Sunday worship service. Amen. Our first Sunday service of the new year. Amen. And aren't you glad that God brought you over?
verse 6, Deuteronomy 31 and 6, and then John 15 and 5. Amen. It says, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth, that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. John chapter 15 verse 5 It says I am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me ye can do nothing may the Lord add a blessing to the hearers readers and doers of his word
God bless you. That's what you essentials. Amen. And to uh, those of you who are joining us on uh, Facebook Live, Amen. And will be seeing us, Amen, on YouTube as well. And we've got we praise God for you and thank God for yeah, another opportunity, Amen, to serve the Lord and worship with you, Amen. Here at Zion Temple of the Church, wanted to get a word out. Uh, to those of you that may uh, not know it, and to those of you that do, it's a reminder uh, that uh, uh, this month is Consecration Month. Praise the Lord. Yes. Zion Temple. Yes. Zion Temple is Consecration Month. Praise the Lord. And we, as a church, amen, will be on special consecration this month. Praise God. I have sent out, amen, the prayer calendars with, amen, the uh, prayer scriptures and things that are, that are on it with the focus of this month. Praise the Lord. And, uh, Given instructions as to our prayer time, the fasting times, amen. I sincerely hope and pray that you're ready, amen, that you will get the most out of this month of consecration. Praise the Lord. So, so uh, just a reminder to all the saints, amen. And if you're out there and you want to come along with us during this time, come on, come on with Zion, amen. amen. We're going to be praying. We're going to be seeking God. We're going to be calling on the name of the Lord, praise the Lord, this month in a special, special way. I mean, especially not that we haven't been praying, but, amen. But we're gonna pray some more. Praise the Lord. We're, being, we're, gonna, we're going to, amen, focus our attention in certain a certain direction for our theme for this for this year. So God bless you. Have a smile upon you, amen. I'm looking forward to a closer and closer relationship with the Lord, amen. I, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I want to get as close as I possibly can. Amen. Glory be to God. I want to get as near as I possibly can. Praise God, because I need him every hour, every moment, except I need him even right now. I need the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to invite all of us, amen, to take this thing seriously and let's seek the Lord. God bless you. Amen. We're going to go right to the, the word of the Lord. Amen. We have a thought. Amen. This is going to be taken from Jeremiah chapter number 29. And we're going to read verses 10 through 14. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 10 through 14. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have that, praise the Lord. God bless you. And the text reads as follows. For thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you mm. Mm -hmm. in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, glory be to God. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Mm -hmm. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all uh, your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. I like that. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. And we're stopping right there. Praise be to God. God bless you. Let's go to the Lord prayer. Precious Father, God of heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Hallelujah. For this day, this time, my God, this time. Yes, Father, thank you. We thank you for this moment, my Lord, of ministry. Ah, uh, articulating and enunciating the mind of God, the will of God, the ways of God. Oh, Father, thank you, God, for allowing us to know something about you. And Father, we ask and pray that you would take our understanding and our knowledge to the highest level, oh God. Ah, take us higher, my God. Take us deeper, my Lord, that we might experience all that you have decreed, amen, that you want to give 
us. Oh, Heavenly Father, we cry to you now. We call on you now. My God, I ask you to bless us and help us have fellowship with us, oh God. Use us for your praise, honor, and glory. Bind the adversary, my God. Cast out, my God, every debilitating, every hindering spirit by the authority of the name of Jesus and the power of our God. Oh God, be exalted. God, be praised and magnified. Take charge of this moment, Lord Jesus. Exalt yourself, my God. Exalt yourself, oh God. Exalt yourself, God, in the name of Jesus. And we be praised on the Lord for it all. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Thank God, thank God. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank God, thank God. We are, we are inspired, amen, by a very, uh, I believe, a well-known and popular verse uh, in a very known, well-known text. Praise God, the book of Jeremiah. Amen. Look at that verse number 11. Amen. For it says, it says here, for I know, I know, God is, God is speaking. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Amen. To give you an expected end. I'm inspired, amen, from this verse and this text to speak to you from a subject entitled, God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. Praise God. As is obvious, amen, we're in the book of Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. The book of Jeremiah was written, amen, during a very difficult time for Israel. In 597 B.C., King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon led an invasion of Jerusalem, captured Jerusalem, amen, and carried away captives out of Jerusalem, amen, and took them to Babylon, amen. He took the king of Judah with him, took the queen mother with him, and he took the nobility of Jerusalem with him. Amen. Snatched the, all the skilled laborers out of Jerusalem and a force marched them to Babylon. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, some of them made it and some of them didn't. It was a long trip. Amen. Amen. But it was a, and it was a forced march. And along the way, they had to, amen, deal with, amen, the various atrocities that normally come to a captivated incarcerated people. Amen. Their captors were not nice. <laughs> uh, they were not congenial. No, no, no. Amen. Along the way, along the way, they were brutalized. Along the way, amen, they, 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 were, they were persecuted. Along the way, the women were raped. Along the way, children, amen, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers died because the trip was so horrendous and the captors were so cruel. It was not a good time for Israel. It was not a good time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Horrible, horrible experience for them to have. This happened and God allowed it to happen. Did you get that? Are you listening to me? God allowed it to happen for a reason. Amen. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. He allowed it to happen because they failed and refused to keep their agreement with God. Mm -hmm. Yes, they failed and refused when after they got off track with God, they refused to get back on track even when they were told about it. Mm. Amen. Uh, uh, folk, folk, amen, that... Uh, <laughs> Amen. Just won't get right after you tell them. Amen. Explain to them something wrong somewhere. Mm -hmm. God's plan for them, Amen. Uh, originally was to take out from the entirety of humanity of, of mankind, take out of among the people, the population of the world, a nation of people through which. He could teach the world the character and nature of himself. Yeah, right, yeah. 
Uh, God wanted the world to know about him. So he chose Abraham and his descendants. Amen. Uh, down through, amen, Isaac and Jacob, praise God, the 12 sons of Jacob, Israel, and the nation of Israel, amen, was designed and purposed to demonstrate to the whole world who the true God really was, amen, amen. how to serve him, what his character and nature was, and they in turn, praise God, uh, will receive the benefits of having the favor and the love, amen, of God Almighty on their sides. Yeah, amen. The relationship was supposed to be prosperous. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. The, 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 the water would dry up. Praise God. No womb would be closed up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Their cattle, their sheep, and all their animals, amen, would, 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 would propagate and grow. Their wealth and notoriety would grow because God was their God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a trade-off. Praise the Lord. <laughs> amen. They were supposed to uh, have all those benefits. Amen. A people through whom he would send the Savior and the Redeemer of mankind, Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. But, brothers and sisters, as you all well know the story, amen, uh, uh, they failed when they got off track with God and they refused to get back on track after God told them about it. Yes, yes. Uh, God sent prophet after prophet to warn them, but they refused to take heed. God would even disrupt, amen, the growing season and the harvest season, but they refused to learn. God would allow war and trouble with neighboring tribes and peoples, amen, to trouble them and take their peace away. But again, they refuse to listen. Lord, have mercy. Are you really dealing with something with some deep issues? When you know you are wrong, but won't change even when you are exposed and you're told about it by God. Lord, have mercy. Ah. My God, uh, uh, individuals that just, just won't listen. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing God got to say. You got to be crazy to put oh, your fist in God's hands. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got to be downright loco. Yeah. Amen. To, 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 to <laughs> ignore the God of heaven. Yeah. Amen. The one that holds your very breath in his hands. Yeah. That one that allows you to live every day. Yeah. That causes you to prosper. How dare you shake your fist in the face of Almighty God? Whoa. Jesus. God have mercy. Ah, uh, praise God. Mm. Uh, it's bad. It's bad, amen, to make a mistake. You say, well, well, maybe they just made mistakes. Amen. Uh, okay, well, I'll grant you that. Maybe they made a mistake. Amen. But they were told about their mistake. Uh, yeah. To make a mistake and to refuse to correct yourself after it's been explained to you. That's called dysfunctionalism. Mm. Oh. Uh, Lord have mercy. I think we got some dysfunctional folk in this world. Uh, Amen. Some dysfunctional. There's probably some dysfunctional saints. I ain't calling nobody. I don't see. I, 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 I love y'all. <laughs> Amen. There could be some dysfunctional saints among you. Praise All the Lord. Right. I hope I'm talking to somebody, amen, that will, that will hear today. I'm trying to help somebody today. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, dysfunctional, dysfunctional. Uh, uh, there are some people you just can't help. You can't stop them from meeting disaster. Mm -hmm. See, when you turn your back on God, disaster is not too far away. Amen. All right. All right. All right. It's not too far away. Uh -huh. uh, I would try it if I were you. Uh -huh. Uh, there's some people, though, you just can't stop them from meeting disaster. Uh, you can warn them. You can give them handouts. <laughs> uh, you can feed them food and give gifts to them. Amen. Trying to let them know, amen, that God loves them and you love them too. You can give them, amen, a brand new year. Praise God. <laughs> With a brand new beginning. But because they refuse to stop self-destructive behavior and practices, they will soon meet destruction and disaster. Uh, the new year is supposed to bring hope. 
New Year's will be a revival in enthusiasm and expectation. Mm. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Uh, if you got some bad habits that you brought with you from 2020, don't think that 2021 is going to be any different. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, they ain't nobody got a magic wand to wave over you and say, it's going to be all right. I decree that your life's going to change. And you still living like, hey, man, no more than a, 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 a wagon's wheel in a, in a snake trap. Praise God. You, 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 got, <laughs> you got to pick up yourself. Uh, you got to do better. Change some bad habits. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. You ever notice, you ever notice, when people get something new, they start treating it better than the old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, Some folks never hang up their clothes. But let them get a new suit. See how they treat that. Uh -huh. Never clean the car. But get a new one and watch what happens. You will never eat biscuits in there as long as that thing is new. <laughs> And you will stop everybody else from eating biscuits in your car because your car is new. You got a new attitude. It's all right. It's all right. Amen. To use this new and fresh incentive to stop some bad habits and to begin some new traits. It's all right. I don't want anybody to feel, get bad, amen, to think that uh, uh, you should be making no New Year's resolution. That's the folk that need to make a New Year, new year resolution. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Amen. I need to make I need to make some changes myself. Amen. I don't think I'm alone with it here. Amen. Uh -huh. And so it's all right, amen, to take a, a ride on the wave of this newness. Praise God. Amen. And, and initiate some new things and different things in your life. I heard somebody say, if you keep doing the same thing that you've always been doing, you're going to always get the same results. Yeah, right. And it is insane yeah. to think that you do, do the, keep doing the same thing that you're going to get something different. Amen. Something wrong with you. Amen. Right. Amen. You got to change something. Am I talking to somebody here today? Amen. The people of Judah, amen, were taken into captivity and were forced marched. Amen. To Babylon. God allowed Jeremiah to remain in Jerusalem. And, and while there, Jeremiah wrote three letters, amen, to the captives in Babylon. Mm. Jeremiah wrote a, them a word from the Lord. Ah, ah, they must have needed that. They really needed that. Praise yeah. God. He told them, praise God, uh, that while you were there in Babylon, mm, amen, don't sit around moaning and groaning. Uh, Amen. Don't, don't become rebellious and lead rebellions and insurrections against the government. No, no, no. Uh, that while you are in Babylon, he told them to make the most out of their circumstances. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. Uh, to make the most out of their circumstances. Uh, he wrote them to settle down. You can read Jeremiah, praise God for yourself, because it's there. Uh, he wrote them to say to settle down. Uh, he wrote them, amen, to build houses and, and to plant, amen, gardens. Uh, amen. He told them to, amen, to marry and start families uh, and have children so that the population would increase and grow. Uh, amen. He told them not only that, but to seek the peace and prosperity of Babylon. Go have mercy. They were even to pray for their unbelieving captors. Uh, my God, they were not supposed to be sitting around groaning and moaning over what they had lost. Uh, they were not to become riotous and rebellious, but they were told by God to make the most out of a bad situation. Oh, uh, my God, my God. Uh, Amen. What the captain did not know. Uh, amen. And Jeremiah had to let them know and tell them. Uh, amen. Jeremiah, uh, what they did not know uh, was that God had a plan. Mm -hmm. amen. Right. amen. After all that they had been through, uh, after all that they were suffering, uh, after all they had lost, uh, all of the injustice that they were experiencing, uh, how many of them died on the route, uh, amen, to, uh, to Babylon and the ill treatment after all of that, uh, amen. What they did not know uh, was that God 
had a plan the whole time. Amen. Yes, they were cut off from their temple. Amen. The religious services were shut down. They couldn't even go to church. They could not even go to their worship services. They could not hear even the word of God expounded if it still was. Because you get to understand, praise God, that, that during this time, amen, Israel had completely departed away from God. Mm -hmm. They had turned their back on the things concerning God. So if they had church, it was few and far in between. And if they had a preacher, he was preaching a bunch of wind and wasn't speaking the truth. It was God had to raise a prophet to go and tell them, you got to stop your devil, man, or God's going to allow, amen, the captivity to come to you. But they would not believe, they would not receive. Lord, have mercy. Uh, and though they uh, they saw the fulfillment of Jeremiah's prophecy, uh, amen, that they would go into captivity, uh, they, it still didn't dawn on them uh, that God had a plan for their lives. Uh, after the forced march from Jerusalem to Babylon, uh, after being abused and mistreated by their Babylonian captivity, Captors, uh, after losing mothers and fathers, uh, husbands and wives uh, who could not endure the journey, uh, after losing houses and lands and family members, uh, precious memories and precious things, uh, while they were in the Babylon, uh, the word of God, a fresh word from the Lord uh, through Jeremiah was exactly what they needed. Uh, oh, is anybody here to understand uh, what it feels like uh, to to get a fresh word in the midst, amen, of trouble. Uh, uh, when everything is going upside down, inside out, and crazy. Uh, when it looks like, amen, you can't survive, your back is up against the wall. Amen. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Have you ever uh, been in a situation uh, where it was dark and you needed a word from the Lord and just in time God said a word that you know uh, I've got a your life. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Yes. Uh, amen. A fresh word from the Lord is what's what they needed. Uh, after going through and losing all that they've lost. Uh, and, uh, uh, the good news that their good God uh, had not forgotten them. Uh, that their God, their good God, uh, had a good plan. Uh, and it was what they needed. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, I want to, amen, tap into uh, some of us in our experiences. Uh, for some of us, uh, 20, the year 2020 uh, was not a good year. Uh, amen. I, I think I put it in the Bible class. Uh, amen. 2020 was a year uh, that was fraught with many, many historical, amen, impacts and chaotic situations. Uh, Lord have mercy. I'm not going to name them all. Uh, go back, amen, to the, to the video on Facebook uh, and look at the Bible class. Praise God, I'll remind you of them things. Uh, but some of us can remember some of that stuff uh, that we went through in 2020. Uh, amen. We remember the testing. Uh, we remember the trying trials. Uh, we remember the difficulties of 2020. Uh, but oh, child of God, uh, testing and trials uh, and tribulations uh, are incentives uh, to get closer to the Lord. Uh. Amen. For the true child of God. Uh, for the child of God that's serious uh, about their relationship with the Lord. Uh, to the child of God uh, that might have gotten it wrong. Uh, but amen is listening to the word of the prophet. Uh, they say you got to get this thing right. Uh, amen. To that child of God. Uh, amen. Trouble is incentive. Uh, amen. To get down, get down to business with God. Uh, amen. To get back in place with God. You know what I'm talking about here. Yeah. Amen. The year 2020 uh, was a year of quarantine, uh, a year of pandemic, uh, the year of detention and separation. Uh, uh, 2020 was a year uh, of a loss uh, of a large number of lives. 
songs, uh, the year of sighing, uh, the year of crying, uh, the year of murder, the year of riot, the year of burning. Uh, it was a difficult year. Uh, it was a year, my God, uh, of disappointment uh, and discouragement uh, over social distress, uh, political ungodliness, uh, betrayal, uh, double crossing and double dealing going on in the highest levels of government. Oh, it was a year, a year, a year of trouble everywhere. What? Ah, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, the trouble don't come just to bring the trouble. Uh, God does not allow you to have trouble uh, just for the sake of bringing you trouble. Uh, God does not intend uh, to allow evil come to you uh, just to bring evil to you. Uh, oh, the 2020 and the troubles uh, that we experience uh, have taught us a lesson. Uh, they taught us, praise God, and should have taught us uh, how to seclude ourselves with God. Uh, well, you're not listening to me. Uh, uh, it should have taught us. Uh, it should have inspired us uh, to get closer, uh, uh, to go behind some closed doors, uh, to shut off uh, some distractions uh, uh, and get alone with God. God, uh, to find out and rediscover uh, where your prayer closet is. Uh, amen. Go up in there uh, and shut out all the extraneous, uh, distracted stuff. Uh, turn off the TV. Uh, turn off my God. All uh, uh, the joyous sounds. Uh, get alone with God. Uh, uh, get in contact uh, with the Savior uh, that rose again from the dead. Uh, to get in contact with the God that lives forever, the true king, the everlasting king, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, it was a time and an opportunity for you to get alone with God. But those of us that know anything about him, trouble is an incentive not to fall out, but to get closer, to go Discovered, so it was rediscovered that our Bible is a good friend. Hallelujah! So it was discovered how to appreciate our prayer time. Uh, in the midst of chaos, we learned how to make the best out of a bad situation. We learned. Deepen our relationship with God. We learn how to sacrifice ourselves, our time, and our liberty to get closer, to go higher, and get deeper in the Holy Ghost. Some of us are speaking a brand new tongue. Hallelujah. Because we've been in prayer so long and been in prayer so much that God has changed our prayer language. Jeremiah, 
where God begins to talk to the captives uh, and he sends them a word uh, while they're in captivity, uh, while their liberty has been shut off, uh, while their liberty has been shut down, uh, God sends a word to them. Uh, he says, for I know, uh, he says, I know, I want you to know, uh, you may not know, uh, but I know uh, the thoughts that I think uh, concerning you. Say of the Lord, I got thoughts of peace. I know that you haven't had peace. I know you're feeling like I turn my back on you. But I want you to understand that I'm the same God that called Abraham. that are upon the earth. Oh, God had a plan, amen, for Israel that had, that had not been extinguished. They might have been in captivity, but it did not extinguish the plan that God had in his heart concerning them. And I want to tell somebody that whatever you've been through and whatever you're going through, that the plan of God, that God had for you has not been extinguished for the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. What God has for you is still for you. What God has promised for you is still in force. Whatever God's going to take you, child of God, God said, I can still get you there. Well, somebody ought to give him a hallelujah right about now. Hallelujah. God had a plan for them. His plan for them was to become a kingdom. Of a kingdom that would be a burning and shining light. Amen to the whole world. The word kingdom means king's domain. It means where God is the king. And he has a domain. And his domain is his people. He is the king of his domain. He is a king that dwells in his domain. And he has dominion in his domain. God wanted them to know that the reason why I had to send you to Babylon was so that I could reestablish in you a kingdom mentality. My call. I got to remind you of who I am. I got to remind you of who you were supposed to be. So I had to bring you back out of the land. I had to take you out of the land of Judah. I had to take you from Jerusalem. I had to take you into Babylon. I had to take away all your stuff. And when I took away all your stuff, you would turn your hearts to me. And you would read the 
rediscover who I am. You will rediscover my power. You will rediscover what your purpose has been. So it was necessary for me to send you back or send you into Babylon. I got a word for somebody up in here. The reason why God has allowed you the trouble he's allowed in your life. Like things ain't going well. The reason why God has allowed you to go through what you're going through. God is trying you to get you to learn the lesson not to put him first, to make him king, to get closer, to get deeper. Expectation. Yes. 
It is the expectation that God has right. of you. Yes. Yeah. See, yeah. See, see, see. see, that was the problem the whole time. We have our own expectations. And we went after those instead of the expectation that God has set for us. Well, God says, I've allowed you, amen, to sequester yourself with me. I've allowed you, amen, to quarantine yourself in close quarters with me. I've allowed you to increase the time that you pray to me and devote your mind. I, I, I have allowed that in this pandemic. And if you've done it right, you have discovered a deeper relationship with God like you've never had before. And once God is in the place he's supposed to be in your mind and your life, now you're ready for your release. Now you're ready for your return. Now you're ready for kingdom. Now you're ready, hallelujah, to receive that which I have ordained for you from before the foundation of the world. Now you're ready. Now you're ready. Praise be to God. This is that year. A release. And return. Amen. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss the prophetic. Amen. Direction. Praise God. Amen. It was not till the end of last year and the beginning of this year that a vaccine was even made possible. The people can see the end in sight. Not that the vaccine is all of that, but God allowed it to take place. Something's about to change. I said some things are about to change. Some things are about to change for you. I'm going to take the captor's hand off of your stuff. I'm going to bring you out of captivity. I'm going to bring you out. And then I'll bring you out and bring you in. Psalms 18, I'm through, I'm through. Psalms 18, 17 says, He delivered me from my strong enemy. Hallelujah. And from them which hated me. For they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my slave. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Oh, somebody give God praise right now. Hallelujah. Praise God for your large place. Praise God for your large place. God bring you out into a large place. You're release and return. God bless you. Thanks, God. and edification and a comfort to a people under pressure. A people under pressure. Depression won't last always. Trouble won't last always. God's going to deliver. God's going to deliver. Because he delights in us. Can you say that? God delights in me. God delights in me. God loves me. Oh, hallelujah. He loves me. Yes, he, he delights hallelujah. in me. Yes. Check this out. He delights in me enough to chastise me when I'm wrong. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then bring me out of captivity into a large place when I'm wrong. Yes. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Yes, he is. Those of you who are the sound of our voice today, I want to invite you to come and serve this kind of God who will never leave you, never forsake you. And once, once you are born again, you are born into a new life. The destiny and purpose for your life can now be fulfilled and accomplished. Now, God is in your life. I want to invite those of you that 
don't know him, but you listen to me out there, amen. You can get to know him. That's why Jesus Christ came into the world. Man was lost. He was, he was on his way to hell. We all were. But Jesus came into the world that, that we might have life and we might have it more abundantly. God wants you to know him. God wants you to serve him. The Lord wants to walk in you, talk in you, to be your God, and you be his sons and daughters. I want to encourage you. Amen. Give us a call. 219-883-8831. Here at Zion 2 Amazon Church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Call us up. Leave a message. We'll get back with you. Amen. Because we want to help you. Amen. On your journey to the, to the expectation that God has for your life. Amen. I want to pray for you. Amen. As we dismiss and close out this message, I want to pray for you. Pray for you. Pray for those in our midst today that God would have his way among us. That God would fulfill his destiny in your life. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, we thank and praise you, Lord, for your loving kindness, to the mercy and your grace. We thank and praise you, Father your wonderful will towards us. Ah, your shatamokoshea, your thoughts, Michael, your meditations are about us and toward us. Thank you, God, for thinking about me. Oh, God, thank you. Uh, we now know, God, that whatever it is we must go through, that you have a plan for our lives. Not to leave us in trouble, but there is an end destined for us all. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Bless us, my Father, to follow your lead and your guidance, my God. To heed, to heed to your word, to do your will, my God, that we might be the people you're calling us to be. I pray, Father, for those who hear me over this live stream, Lord, my God, you open up the eyes of their understandings. God, that you help them to have faith and trust in a living God. Hallelujah. My God. They may come to know you. The only true living God. And Jesus Christ who you sent. Bless in a special way Lord. With special revelation. And special insight. Save my God. Save Lord. Heal and deliver. Bless your people. Bless them that want to know you. Have your way with us all Father. Bless us be your people. As we continue on entering throughout this year. Oh God, to reach that expected end that you have, purpose and destiny for us. Bless us, Lord. Keep us, God, we pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give me praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.